Hey, how's it going? I am back at it again. This time I'm blah. <laughs> I'm at Red River Gorge. Uh, I already hiked in all my gear. Actually, I have to say, this is my first time here ever, so uh, one of the reasons why I didn't uh, film the, the walk-in and hiking in and setting up camp is because uh, I was just super nervous about finding the ca the right campsite. I got a couple of friends that are meeting me tonight and uh, they sort of gave me the layout of the land and a little map to, to find camp. So I was more like, I just wanna hike in, get set up and then film and start painting later. I just wanted to make sure that I found the right place. And uh, so far it's, it's been actually a little bit cold. I thought it was gonna be a lot warmer than this. So I've had to put on the coat. Um, so I've been definitely a little bit more chilly, but I've got camp set up already. I got my paints, everything organized. I even already got a whole bunch of um, firewood already cut, ready to go. I'm gonna be cooking a little bit of fun dinner tonight. Um, I'm doing steak, egg, and cheese bagel sandwiches. <laughs> That should be so good. I've had, uh, I think, an oatmeal today so far for uh, food. Oh, and one Oreo cookie. So <laughs> it's about time for me to get something to eat. So yeah, so since I didn't get a chance to hike in uh, and film the, the walk in and all that, because we're only, what, maybe a mile and a half from the car. So it wasn't too bad of a hike in uh, the last time I hauled in the big piece of artwork to go paint that was at Lake Vesuvius and I think that was about a four mile hike in I was exhausted so uh, this was so much easier I actually hiked in all my gear and then went and got all the paint and stuff uh, in a whole separate trip so it's been really really easy except for being kind of cold right now so yeah um, so if you want to know how camp is going and what camp life is like Maybe just keep watching something, something, uh, I'm sure something interesting will happen. It's about to blow your mind. <laughs> Yeah, oh, oh, incorporate fire somehow into this. Fire and then fire and acrylic paint. I'll use lighter fluid, catch it on fire. Uh, a little bonfire or our, our fire here. I really wanna try to play around with catching this piece on fire. I did what that did, but that was right. pretty I sweet. Stopped. Do you ever wonder what it's like to live in a luxury campsite? You backpack right in and you got everything at your fingertips. As you can see here, there's a full bar. And as I pan the camera, there's some shoes. We'll call that the shoe closet. It's right next to the bar. What we call that is an economical way so you can put your shoes on and drink at the same time. I mean, just look at that view. It's like you're almost camping outside. People don't just live like this for free. They have to drive here and hike in and such. It's, 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 it's a lot of work. I, I, it's pretty tired, actually. 
think I might even have a nap. One of the things that's most impressive about this luxury suite is the absolute comfortable. I don't even know if it's a twin size bead, but I will say it's at least 25 inches. I know I'm Australian, but I don't know meters. I only know inches. So we'll say 25 inches. I think it's a full 72 in length. Very impressive. This down comforter wraps around your body like a warm breath of fresh air. So luxurious. One of the things I almost forgot to mention about this humble abode, it's not so humble. Take a look at this. It's got solar, solar power. It's almost so strikingly economical. It's expensive. One of the things that I must absolutely show you, it's gonna make your jaw drop. It's gonna make you water at the mouth. It's gonna be like salinating your seminal vesicles. I don't even know what that means. I'm pretty sure I'm using that word wrong, but who cares? I'm Robin, am I Robin Leach? I don't even know anymore. But what we got here, look at this. There's a fireplace, but it also doubles as the stove. Oh my lord. Look at the kitchen. There's many accoutrements. Many, many accoutrements in the kitchen. Look at that. There's a future piece of artwork there. It's not even painted yet. That's how fine this place is. It's impressive. The paintings literally paint themselves. Just one more thing you should be extremely jealous of besides the spacious how sprawling this is. It's so sprawling. You don't even know what to do with yourself. Look at this. It's a chair. You could carry a chair above your head, right above your head, and then you can sit in it. It's insane. Ridiculous. One of the absolute most unique places that I've ever seen is basically this campsite. It's, well, I'm sorry, home. <laughs> it's definitely not a campsite, it's someone's home. You should be jealous of it, major, major, major jealous. I mean, look at this. There's real tree inside this home, it's ridiculous. Okay, that's about enough of that. Unless you want to see more. <laughs> God, I'm stupid. <sighs> All right, that was a lot of fun, actually. I had a lot of fun doing that, and I don't think I need the sunglasses anymore. Um, but yeah, so this, uh, the art piece, down to the, the main point of being here, other than enjoying nature, the art piece that I'm working on is gonna be titled AI, or artificial intelligence. I might even spell the whole thing out, I don't know. But I think the, the thing that I've been wanting to do is a straight up abstract piece. So I wanted to do um, a piece that, you know, didn't have subject matter and it didn't have a face or an owl or an animal or anything. I just wanted to do just straight up complete abstract, listen to some music, zone in and just go nuts. So. Really all I have is that artificial intelligence AI as sort of the the title, the subject matter. So I was laying in bed at night, one night, and we have this humidifier and there was a little red dot on the humidifier because it had ran out of water or whatever. And I sat there, it's like three o'clock in the morning and I couldn't sleep. And I just sat there and stared at this red light, this red dot just floating in you know, the dark room or whatever. And you could still make out like some of the stuff because some of the, you know, the street lights or whatever were coming through. But that was sort of my inspiration for this piece. I, I, I just thought, oh man, I've got to do something like that with just, I, you know, I have no idea what it's supposed to look. All, all I know is there's going to be a red dot in there somewhere. I don't know how big it is. I don't know how dominating it's going to be. I don't know how black everything else around it's going to be, but 
that's that's all I've got. So I'm basically going to let the piece just create itself. And the the thing that got me most excited about this was um, when I did the Bob Marley piece a couple weeks ago, um, I put on Bob Marley. I got like a little Bluetooth speaker. I was jamming to it. And, and at first, I wasn't really liking what I was doing. And... The coolest part was as 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 the album started going, um, it seemed like the tempo of all the songs started picking up. It was it was a live Bob Marley album too, which was really really cool. And I think it got to about Exodus song, and it was like the 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 beat pick kicked in, and I just I, you know I, I was like in the moment I was feeling it, and I was just grabbing the paintbrush and I was just twirling around. And, and just going ape shit, and uh, sorry, <laughs> pardon my language, but I really was. It was it was it was awesome, and I, I I think like instead of thinking about what I was painting and what I wanted it to look like, it was almost like my soul was like coming out. I don't know. I know it's 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 a slight exaggeration, but that's what it felt like. It was it was so super exciting to just like f- feel and harness the music and 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 have that come through the artwork and 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 the paintbrush and the paints and it was like I didn't care anymore it was like I, I I didn't care what it looked like or what I was doing but when I was done it was really freaking cool looking and of course I knew I was going to paint over half of it uh, because it was a background so I think the the coolest part about this piece is it 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 is the piece like I, I'm, I'm gonna play slightly different music because this is gonna be more of a darker grungier piece like I'm thinking like AI almost like Matrix where it's like into the world robots have taken over death and destruction kind of stuff like that into the world robots have taken over death and destruction kind of stuff into the world robots have taken over death and destruction kind of stuff like into the world robots have taken over death and destruction kind of stuff like that you know a little heavy a little heavier than what I use Okay, that's about probably it for tonight, at least for painting. Um, <clears throat> I don't want the crazy music going on too late. I don't want people to kill me. It's about eight o'clock and I am starving, so it's definitely time to get something to eat. One thing I didn't get a chance to dig into, I bought some paint markers. I haven't had a chance to, to play with those yet. I hope I just didn't get paint all over my pants. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that's probably a good base to start. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully tomorrow I get a good, you know, three, four, hopefully five or six hours really painting that. Um, that'd be really, really awesome. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, the, the, the biggest thing that I want to do with this piece, and I didn't even mention it yet, uh, is, well, I don't know if it's the biggest, but it's definitely, like, kind of something unique, is I wanted to incorporate fire somehow into this. So I bought uh, a little bit, like a little mini lighter fluid, and, uh, like, remember how I was talking about the red dot? So I'm thinking maybe I put somehow in the red dot, I catch it on fire, and then I I pour paint into it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to, I have no idea how fire and acrylic paints are going to work together. I don't know if they heat up and like maybe create a cool pattern or maybe <laughs> it just turns to junk. I have no idea. So it's kind of a definite risk. So tomorrow I really want to try to play around with catching this piece on fire and hopefully not ruining it. So maybe I'll put it in I don't know. I was I was thinking maybe I, maybe I put it in like our our fire here, uh, a little bonfire, or 
because I don't really, I don't want to ruin it either. Um, or maybe, I, like I said, I'll use a lighter fluid, catch it on fire, put it out real quick, see how that, see if that affects anything. Um, hell, maybe even, maybe if the fire uh, ends up being a bust, maybe the lighter fluid will be kind of like a, a cool mixture in with the paint. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I just want to do something different with this piece. Something since it's like AI, so it's almost mechanical, but I still want to include something organic within it. Um, just because I, I just, or, or organic circles and lines and things like that is just, it really brings a piece to life. I almost feel like this camera is like way too close to my face. <laughs> All right, cool. So, um, yeah, it's, I think it's time to cook some dinner. Let's go. I'll got to do this, but then I got to clean my brushes. Oh God, such a bummer. All right. All right. Clean brushes, then food, then drink, and then fun. And then my friends will probably be here. Uh, hopefully. I know. <laughs> it'll be, it'll definitely be dark, so I'm sure they're going to be hauling in here at probably 10 o'clock at night. I'm either going to A, be asleep, or B, just like maybe anticipating their arrival a little too much. All right. Peace. <laughs> So usually about dinner time, I don't bother with trying to film anything, but wow, the, I, the steak, egg, and cheese bagels that I'm making, holy moly, they're so good. Okay, I'm gonna try and see if I can, I can put them in the camera view here. Oh man, it doesn't show. All right, let me see if I can use my headlamp. I got a little headlamp here, see if I can. Shine a light. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the camera real quick. I don't know. They, they might not look like much right now, but holy moly, they're really good. All right, all right. It's eating time. I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace out. Oh. Oh. Good morning. I slept like the dead last night. My buddies came to camp. Uh, had a nice fire. Nice meal. Good hangout. So this morning the plan is do some coffee, get these guys up, and uh, maybe do some exploring, and then come back and start working on the painting. Yeah. So, coffee time. Definitely coffee time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's the thing, man. Aggressive coffee drinking. <laughs> Aggressive! <laughs> All right, so we're finally up and uh, got the guys up. So we're headed back to the car, grab a couple of supplies, and then we're going to do a little exploring. Going to see the area. What, uh, what, uh, what are we going to again? Oxier Ridge. Oxier Ridge. And uh, yeah, get some really good shots of the nature around here. And then we're going to get back. I'm going to paint a little bit and then I'm going to drink a lot. <laughs> I came from the mud. Desert on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been Try to kill
So we had a little bit of fun last night, uh, especially playing with the fire. Um, so I just wanted to give you one last uh, look at it. Definitely didn't get to finish the painting. I really wanted to try to finish it this weekend. So once again, I'm gonna have to take it home and you know work out all the details. But uh, here's what we got going so far. I Say come hi, from the land down under. <laughs> what about you, sir? Yeah. <laughs> He's not having as fun a morning as we are. <laughs> all right, all right. Time to head back to the car. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, headed back to the car now. Really wish, you know, Really wish I did get a chance to finish this piece. I Maybe it's just gonna take practice trying to just, you know, really get a piece done while I'm out here in the woods, like 100% start to finish. Maybe that's, uh, you know, for the next painting, maybe that'll be my goal. Although it's another kind of famous person. The uh, next painting I'm gonna do is gonna be Anthony Bourdain which is gonna be a pretty personal piece for me. Um, excuse me. <laughs> so I, uh, I just, you know, I started this project back in January, so this is a pretty recent thing, but one of the things that, uh, that I love about it is it kind of combines, you know, my creative stuff I love to do and adventure. And um, Anthony Bourdain was definitely an inspiration for me when I first started watching a show, I think really at that time, I never been to another country. Heck, I barely even went on vacations. I'd, I'd do staycations and just stay home and do nothing. Cause well, I was probably also, <laughs> I was probably too poor to actually go anywhere at the time, to be honest. But um, 
wow, why am I breathing so hard? I'm not even really working that hard. But um, yeah, so when Anthony Bourdain passed, we'll just say it in a nice way, um, you know, it was, I don't get, you know, choked up when celebrities die. I mean, people die every day, you know, and just because you're on TV doesn't make you special. But I, get, I feel like for him, I feel like I just, you know, I knew him. That's what I felt like, like, like we were old pals or something, you know, it was just weird. And so whenever, you know, whenever basically he killed himself, like I haven't been able to even watch a show. I can't even hear his voice without kind of getting a little bit depressed, which, you know, that's like a double whammy. I can't even watch, you know, reruns and enjoy them. So this piece will definitely be very important to me. You know, I'll probably have to watch a bunch of episodes to kind of like get back into the groove. Kind of like, you know, with Bob Marley, I watched a bunch of Bob Marley documentaries and read up on him. Yeah, for that video, I was supposed to, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, you know, oh, ten, 10 things you didn't know about Bob Marley. I was supposed to do all that. Yeah, I, I totally forgot. So I, I kind of ditched, I ditched on that. But, uh, you know, maybe I'll do that for Bourdain. Like, uh, you know, little did you know. So that'll be really exciting. Um, and, oh, here's the other piece too, is, is uh, the very first place that I ever went solo backpacking in is uh, Zaleski in Ohio, Southern Ohio again. Um, so I'm gonna combine those two. So my first kind of solo adventure ever combined with the guy who inspired me to go off and adventure and try new things and not be afraid or what you know just get out there and blend in and you know don't be the norm so that'll be really exciting well i'm probably about halfway back to the car i'm gonna go ahead and call it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it um i might throw a little bit right here at the end show you what the final piece looks like. I don't even know what the final piece looks like. So, um, all right, I'm out of here. If you like the video, please, of course, please, please like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment too. I, I, I think I really appreciate those almost even more than the, than the subscri subscriptions. Um, I just, I just want to see what people think, you know, see if, Maybe even have some suggestions for me or some ideas. Uh, maybe some things I'm not thinking of. Um, yeah, until then, enjoy the, the final painting because when this cuts, you'll get to see it. I don't even get to see it, so. <laughs> Later.